that will do it for the Spike.com portion of the card that we're going to break down. There's some uh, Strike Force and UFC veterans that would make John laugh, so we're going to skip over those and move on to the main card, which actually is probably the best three card, uh, I'm sorry, three fight Bellator card in the promotion's history. In the first bout of the evening, Pat Curran will defend his featherweight title against Patricio Pitbull Friere, a fight that was supposed to happen, and then Patricio got hurt, and then I think Pat Curran got hurt, and the winner of this fight has already been lined up to take on another guy we've had on the show several times, Daniel Strauss. Um, I really, of all the fights this weekend to break down, this is the one I've struggled with the most, and I'm really hoping you can enlighten me with some information, Mr. Buell. Yeah, this is one of those fights where, I mean, Patricio uh, is a good striker, hits pretty hard, but I think against guys who are a little more polished on the feet, it, you know, that's where you'll see maybe he's still got some things to learn in his striking game. I mean, not saying he's a bad striker, but I think Curran being a very good, very patient, uh, pretty technical counter striker, I think is actually going to give uh, Freire a lot of matchup problems on the feet. And uh, for a BJJ guy, Pitbull's got very good takedowns, but... I don't think he's going to be able to get Curran down, at least not very easily. So, uh, you know, I think Curran can dictate where the fight takes place. I think he's, uh, you know, got a little bit of a reach advantage and going to be a, able to, I think, win the fight with his counter striking and win a decision or maybe a late TKO. But I think both these guys are pretty tough and evenly matched. So I'm taking Curran on the scorecards. I think I'm going to take Curran as well. Um, I often cite this when I'm breaking down fights in MMA, even though it's a. Uh, study done about football, so I don't know how intelligent it is, but I often bring it up in that Football Outsiders has broken down a lot of games, and they found that teams that routinely win by the skin of their teeth during the season always do very poorly in the playoffs and never really, you know, turn it on and win the big ones. I think with Friere, he's a very solid fighter, really has put a hurting on a lot of guys. However, when he fights good fighters... It's always, if not a struggle, it's always an ordeal. I mean, his fight with Daniel Strauss was very nip and tuck, back and forth. Uh, he lost the fight against Joe Warren, even though I don't think anyone thought he lost. The fact that he gave up such a rough round and made the judges think about it. Uh, his fight with Wilson Hayes is a guy who he beat once already, and it still was a struggle before he was able to knock him out. Curran, on the other hand, uh, recently has just been lighting people up left and right. And I think that... Over five rounds, Kearns definitely has the ability to finish the fight, but I think also he's just going to be able to control it with his striking, a lot like what you said. So I'm glad we agree, even though I hate you. <laughs> well, thanks for saying that. I feel loved right now. There you go. It's, it's what I bring to the table here on the MMA Outsider Podcast. 